They should have meant a confidence boost for thousands of women, hope after major surgery. The only emotions these implants ended up provoking, though, anger and anxiety. Inside them, the kind of silicon used in industry, the kind you would find in agriculture, in mattresses, the kind that should not be used in humans. These implants had a high rupture rate. Jean-Claude Mass was the man behind them. For years, his company, PIP, filled its implants with what was described as a homemade concoction and shipped them around the world to countries in Europe, the Middle East and South America. 65 nations in all, 300,000 women affected. Suddenly I heard something bursting and I couldn't get up again. Isabel had hers following major cancer surgery, but like so many other women, what she paid for and what she got were two very different things. Only later did she find out how they were being made and that the manufacturer was putting in low quality silicon. One of the engineers said, well, we just took a spoon and put it in. Well, what do you mean? And he said it again. Yeah, we just would take a spoon and put it in and make these prothesis, but even an animal. You, you calculate what you give him. They just did it. That, that means, that's why you know today why some women are more sick than others. They got a bigger spoon. Come on, can you do that? That's women. I mean, it's lives. So big was this trial when it was held earlier this year that it had to take place not in a court, but a conference center. On Tuesday, the verdict came through in Marseille. Mass got four years in jail and a fine of $100,000. Some of his key staff received jail sentences too. For those who had PIP implants fitted, all of this was about one thing, and that was justice. Did they get it? Well, Jean-Claude Mass has been convicted, but he's not going to prison, at least not today, because he's appealing, and therefore, under French law, he can go home. And there are still wider questions to be answered, not least just what impact will those implants have had on the long-term health of those who had them fitted? The answer to that one may not come for many more years. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Marseille.